be pro and miss it. Tell it like it is. I've been waiting to do this video for a while and I'll tell you why. Greg messaged me about this whole Tanner Fox thing. I have no clue who Tanner Fox even was. I do some research on the guy. And lo and behold, here's the whole Tanner Fox situation. Either way, the reason why I'm doing this video is for one simple reason, and that is to make sure I give you guys something to leave here with. I want you guys to be able to leave this, this little conversation we're going to have here with something you can take home and just apply it to your life. I've been waiting to do a video on why Greg is so successful, and I was, wondering, I was, I was waiting for a time to send it out because I don't want it to look like I'm trying to like, you know, just big Greg up or whatever. I'm making this video to make sure you guys understand why Greg is successful in what he does. Here we go. Seth Rossi, Fuad Abion, Abby Sharp, Brandon Harding. The list goes on. It goes on and on and on. These are all some names of a few channels that try to test Greg's consistency. And if I know anything more than anybody else, Greg's consistency is unfreaking breakable. You can't get him off his game. That's why he's so good at what he does. Last week, Greg says, hey, Tanner Fox, you watch a Tanner Fox video? We should do a response on him. He did whatever, whatever. He's got 10 million uh, subscribers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, really? Who's Tanner Fox? No clue these guys are. I'm starting to learn all these, you know, YouTube channels by now recommending certain videos. And obviously, Greg's just sending me, you know, texts every other day about new people or whoever he's talking about. So, Tanner Fox. Who's Tanner Fox? Well, Tanner Fox is right up my alley. What do you mean? Well, back in the day, your old boy, John Shreve, he used to be a old fruit booter. So he used to call us fruit booters. Inline skaters, aggressive inline skaters, hitting them topside axles, unities, royales. Come on, boy, I was sick at it. I was sick with it. I couldn't really skateboard. I could, I could take and push, but I couldn't do it. For some reason, I couldn't do it. I couldn't ollie. But I'm a really good snowboarder, so it doesn't make any sense. But I'm a terrible freaking skier. I'm an unbelievable skate. I just, and anyway, so the kid goes right up my alley because, you know, I got a soft spot. For my skaters out there, for my skate family. And I see the kid, I'm like, oh, this kid, yo, Greg, whose tree did you bark up this time? And I look at the kid, I'm like, 10 million subs, freaking professional scooter. Guy's sick with it. Like, the guy's back. I'm, I look at the kid, I'm like, this kid is legit. I love seeing actual athletes, like legitimate athletes. Not like YouTube guys on there be like, yeah, hey, look at me. I got really nothing to show you, but look at my cool stuff. This guy's got legitimate, you know, talent behind him. And then he's training. So I'm like, oh, cool, nice, good job, buddy. Greg's like, you know, watch his video. Did you see my video? I'm like, I'll watch his first. So I watched his video first, and boom, exactly what you saw. And I watched his video, I'm like, oh, damn. You know, the first part, you know, he sucks in, he's, you know, he's, he's test driving cars. Basically, his whole channel is him just basically being a 20 year old kid and just enjoying the fruits of having money for however the heck he makes it and gets it, probably from YouTube, whatever else he gets it from. Good job on you. Show it off, he got it. It's fine. Anyway, so I'm watching and he gets sucked in. And I'm like, cool. Then all of a sudden you get the part where he talks about Greg. And I'm just like, oh, dang, Greg, what'd you do? And I'm watching this highlight reel of just roasting. I'm like, Jesus, what is this? While I was watching Tanner's video, I was like, ah, <laughs> I know what you're doing, Tanner. I know what you're doing because I know Greg. And I know Greg too well. And this is what really happened with Greg. Greg basically told you in his last response video, but this is what happens. And I know this is what happens all the time. You guys want him to do a response video or a video or not on, on somebody. In this case, Tanner Fox. Tanner Fox says he gained 15 pounds in six weeks. You're like, yo, do a video on this, man. You got to let the world know that. There's no way you can gain that much weight. He's on steroids, blah, blah, blah. Or some are like, he is on steroids. You know, he gained 15 pounds. And Greg's like, are you, are you kidding me? You think this kid gained 50 pounds in six weeks? Come on. So he does a video. And in Greg fashion, Greg will do a video. And use examples so you know that this kid did not gain 15 pounds in six weeks. And he's going to use examples in a way that he just does. Very harshly, very abruptly, with a lot of comic relief. But in the same time, he will give you credit where credit is due. That is who Greg is. Two weeks out from National, Greg says, I simply wouldn't do National if I were you. You're just not in shape. And I'm like, who the heck is this? I'm like, listen, I'm going to do 100... I'm gonna do 10 hundreds every single freaking day and I'll get under 8% body fat. I did it before, I did it when I was in university. Greg's like, there's no way you can do, you can lose or be under 8% body fat. Yet there's not a chance you can do that. Yet and I'm like, watch me, blah, blah, blah. Lo and behold, two weeks later, I placed top 10 super heavies. Who's the first person to congratulate me? Greg. The guy congratulated me before I even knew what the heck I even did. Literally. It was my second show, really didn't know anything about bodybuilding, didn't have a coach, left, 
left the stage, walks off. He's like, hey, man, you should be really excited about that, man. You, top call, like second call, that's really good. I'm like, oh, I'm like, that's, thanks. I'm like, what the frick is second call? Out? I am getting eighth. And everybody in that lineup, except for one other person, is now a professional bodybuilder. It's the first person to give me credit where credit was due. But told me the truth. And I didn't want to hear it. But I took that truth and I applied it to myself. Because I was like, you know what? That's his truth. I'm going to make my own truth. And I made my own truth. And my own truth got me to where I am right now. Lo and behold, years later, guess who's with me? Greg. Anyway. So the guy's going to say things. He's going to tell like he is just like me. I'm only going to tell a little different than Greg is. Anyway. So I watch Greg's videos. And I know what Greg's videos work. You know, I understand how it's going to go. And then I'm looking at both of them like, all right, here we go. I get what's going on here. Tanner Fox, I think you are Fox in Chief clothing. Literally. Come on, man. The funny thing is he sits there and like, first of all, he's like, you made a 16 minute video just to answer one question. I'm like, clearly you didn't watch the whole 60 minutes. And none of you guys usually watch the whole 60 minutes. You only watch about three to four minutes. Like, trust me, I look at my analytics and look, oh, look. Watch time has increased to five minutes. I'm like, oh, great. They're watching like half of my videos. Sweet. What half you're watching? The one you want to watch or the ones you don't want to watch? Either way, Fox's crew over there is going to do their research, put together a highlight reel, just like Fox News and CNN and every other news outlet out there that just shows you what you need to see. That's all they do. They're going to post things out for what they want you to see. Tanner Fox's channel is like Fox freaking news. Oh, God, listen, this isn't a political thing at all. Listen, I grew up in Windsor, Ontario, back and forth with Detroit, this and that. I used to watch Fox News, now that I'm older, I don't like any news. So, no, I'm not biased to news channels. I think all news outlets are bull. And I think every news outlet out there is there to make you see what they want you to see. But here's the thing it doesn't matter. Because when you're consistent, it doesn't matter what anybody says about you. They can say you're a bully, they can say you're mean, they can say you're racist, they can say you're an asshole, they can say, they can say every single mean thing about you. But when you're consistent, you know, when you're honestly consistent, and your character doesn't falter, and you're the same person all the time, oof, oh my god. Consistency is like lies kryptonite. It doesn't matter what anybody says about you. It doesn't matter if someone wants to say vile things and lies and spew things about you. It doesn't matter at all because... If you're consistent, that's all that matters. Now, if you're a consistent asshole, well, I guess you're just a consistent asshole. But here's the thing. The description of the Bible, I forget what it is. I might put it down there if I find it. But either way, it says, you're neither hot or cold. You're lukewarm, and I'll spit you out of my mouth. That's what God said in the Bible. I'm like, oh, my God. That is one of the dopest lines in the Bible period because it can apply to everybody out there. Here's the thing. It was cool. I got the same kind of personality. Greg had the same type of personality in the sense of, you either like us or you don't. There's no in between. I like I like seriously though. Like Greg's channel is one of the best ones when you look at, you know, do you like him or you don't? And I've known Greg for like for years, so I know people either like him or they don't. There's no like in betweens, and that's where you want to be. You don't want to be lukewarm, like spit. <sighs> like that's lukewarm. Lukewarm lies. Lukewarm fakeness. Lukewarm just spews for views. Lukewarm BS to the nth degree. I'd rather you be hot or be cold. Pick one or the other. You can't be both. Tanner Fox, you can't. You can't say... So it's the name of the game. I'm not, I'm not offended by the things he said. And then... Call him Reg Douche. This 60-year-old man with the highest pitched voice I've ever heard, and that's coming from me. And then post every damn story about... Bully, and let me tell let me tell you somebody. When you think or say somebody that made fun of you and you play a victim or whatever, you win. Really. If you don't say anything else after that, you're basically you're almost like in for the win. But when you go back and say things consciously to hurt somebody, then you're worse than the person you're trying to say is the mean one. It's like basic elementary life lessons. We all know that, that's basic. You can't sit there and say, hey man, I'm only doing this out of the grace of my heart because I want to inspire people because my journey and everything, and I just want to let people know that I love life and I love inspiring you little youngsters out there to get their scooters out and do their thing. And you know what? This guy's a bully on my jet, PJ and jelly sandwich, Luberderm, look at me, ha <laughs> ha, in your face. 
loser, bully. Ha! Come on, man. Come on, Tanner. And this is and this is something for you, Tanner and Allie. Allie, all about Allie. Make sure you guys subscribe to All About Allie. It'll be pretty fun. Maybe we'll do some collab with maybe Allie. I don't know. Anyway, a message for you uh, for you guys. You want to put your life on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube? Can you better be ready for the backlash? You better be ready for the peanut gallery. Yes, the peanut gallery. You guys, the subs, the judge, jury, and executioner. I know this. I've put out a couple videos, literally, where some of the opinions on that don't align with mine. Some of them are extremely harsh. None of them matter to me, the good or the bad. Really, I'm being honest to you. And it doesn't mean that I don't like you guys. I see the importance of both sides. I get it. But you can't go and put your life out there and expect everybody to freaking like you. That is living in a completely bogus lie of a world. And you make comments like, ah, man, I grew up on the internet. Yeah, you did. You might want to start growing up in the real world so you're not sitting there like, ha, ah, I'm getting picked on. Meh, why is he like me? Meh, meh, meh. He didn't say that. None of that happened. You got to grow up, Fox. You can't sit there and be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to test drive all these cool cars. I got in the house. I got this. I fly around my, P and my jet, my PJs, and my Lubriderm and expect someone to not say anything? Come on, man. Grow up. I gotta say this, buddy. It is inspiring to watch, you know, young youngsters get out there and really see the importance of training. I remember when I first got to the gym and quickly realized, and I was only 11 years old, I quickly realized that the better I got in the gym, the better I got it overall at the sports I liked. At the time when I was 11 years old, I was snowboarding, I was playing football, I was playing baseball. Um, I was in every sports team in elementary school and I dominated because... I was in the gym at a young age and I loved it and fell in love with it. So I get the passion you have that you're seeing right now. You're going to become an even better athlete because of this. An overall better person because the awareness that you're taking into your own body. The thing that you got to drive until you're in the grave. That's inspiring. So I got to give credit where credit is due, buddy. And, you know, that's how you got to do it. But I'm going to tell you this too. Your channel is dope. You got 10 million subs. You got a bunch of people out there. You got to be consistent. You got to be consistent in what you teach, what you preach, and how you act. Those got to be the same consistently. Because the peanut gallery is going to find you. It's going to find your lies. Gonna sit, they're going to research because these guys are... That's why you got to respect the peanut gallery. I respect the subs and the viewers out there because I know that they're dedicated. They're dedicated viewers. They want it and they're looking and they're searching for answers for truth. Because they look at guys like us... And they say these guys have the answer and they just want the answer and the right answer and they want the truthful answer. You got to stay consistent in what you preach, teach, and how you act. And then you, you're successful because people could trust you. I mean, I'll talk about Greg's subs all the time. These guys are faithful. You know why? Because Greg is honest and consistent. And time and time and time again, there's been YouTube channels out there, big channels. Big, big, big channels. Way more people than he has. Try to crush him down. Say things that are wrong and lies about him. Literally. And Greg's consistent in this. And what he preaches, teaches how he acts. And now, every one of those people are now have less subs than Greg. Greg has surpassed all of them. And just be honest, let's not get it twisted. How long is it going to take before Greg surpasses Tanner? And then when I start coming up too. I don't think I ain't trying to come up, boy. The reason why I'm trying to get subs is so I can do the same thing. Because no one's going to listen to me if you can't, if you don't know who I am. No one's going to listen to what I say if they don't have any sub. That's how it works on here. There's so many unbelievable channels out there that you guys don't even know of because there's not that many subs, which sucks. And that's how the algorithm works. The algorithm on YouTube doesn't work. It doesn't go and say, hey, man, let's find all the really honest, straightforward YouTube channels and make sure we recommend them. Ah, you know, they just, they, they don't, they don't care about that. They put out what you're searching. You can watch the uh, social dilemma. It's pretty sweet. Hope you liked the video, guys. Hope you could take away something from this. And if you did, I well, hope you did, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button, notification button, so next time I put a video out and I am putting out videos. I'm pumping them out this week. I promise you, I got my issue together. I love it. Anyway, for coaching hardcore.training02 at gmail.com and follow me on Instagram, underscore John Shivan, underscore. Follow me. And for 20% off on imutant.com, use my code Johnny20 for 20% off. Anyway, guys, remember, be consistent with what you teach, preach, and how you act. Progressive overload your life. In the meantime,
keep dream chasing. Peace.